Shout out to my kid, Bubba Belay, Chopper Finn, Jayden. Run, run up them deep. I run up the money. What's up, gang? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Not even gonna hold you. I got another story time for you guys, so I'm gonna get straight into the story. This kind of piggybacks a little bit off my last story time. If you haven't watched that, make sure y'all click the link in the bio below and watch that. Then you can come back to this one. I was still in school at the time, and I was staying with my mom, and we had this apartment. And I we used to stay in this house, but then we ended up moving there. And we let the other person had that and we ended up moving so we moved to this apartment and i was still going to school i had to get dropped off at the bus stop which was down the street from my original house that i had grew up in so we had a routine where i ended up having to wake up around five get ready be at the bus stop like six o'clock ish five forty five around that time and she had to be at work like six thirty so she had to drop me off and then she had to go to work our basic routine that we had going on which that was too early for me i was just i'm just not a morning person like that back in the day but i ended up being forced to be a morning person with that being in mind you know got dressed got ready to go to school got dropped off at the bus stop and went to school typical normal day go through the whole day and get on the bus and get dropped off you know at the bus stop and if she wasn't there then i ended up going to the house she just ended up picking me up from the house like we, you know, usually agreed to do. On my way home from school this day, she was calling me and I was like, okay, you know, that's not usually like her. Like, she don't usually just call me out of the blue, like, around this time. Because, you know, I'm on the way. Because she know what time the bus gets there. So, I'm like, okay, you know, maybe she's going to tell me that, you know, she running late and tell me to go to the house. And she's just picking me up from the house. Woo, woo, woo. So, I answer. So I'm like, hello. And she like... Um, I gotta tell you something. And everybody know me. No, I don't like the words, cause it's like nothing, nothing good comes after somebody saying that. And I can, I could hear it in her voice. Like she sounded like she was wanted to cry, but she was holding it back, and she was scared to tell me whatever it was she was about to tell me. And I'm like, okay, you know what is it? You know, just just come on out with it. I'm like, I, it's not like I'm gonna be mad or something. I'm thinking like, you know, I'm trying to. Matter of fact, I can't even tell you what I'm thinking because I'm just thinking so many things. But that's the that's the point of me saying I don't like, I don't like the words because I rather you just tell me what it is and then you know then I'll be mad afterwards because uh, you know at least I know what it is. I don't have to wonder. And so she paused for the longest. Like you could hear a fly fart on the phone. That's how long the pause was she finally came on out with it and was like the complex behind us caught on fire and our apartment was burnt up too and i'm like excuse me you want to come again like we don't have nothing or you i mean explain like if you can't just say you can't just call me and then leave me with a cliffhanger like that like you ain't you ain't saying nothing. You saying something, but you ain't saying nothing. But you saying a whole lot of something, but you really ain't saying nothing. That ain't telling me what I need to know. So I'm on a bus, of course. I'm I'm losing it. You know, oh my god, like my Xbox, my TV, my clothes. Like I don't have nothing. This me on the phone. I'm like, okay, we talking toast, toast, burnt, or we talking burnt, like just crispy. And she just kept saying, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, okay, these, the, every question I asked her, it was like, a, I don't know afterwards. And I'm like, okay, hey, you mean, what you mean? You don't know. Like, you just said it was like, like, what do you mean? I'm confused about what you talking about. Like, hey, you, you telling me something, but like I said, you telling me nothing. So I was like, I'm getting like, you, you know something, but you not saying that because you trying to protect my feelings by lying to me, but like trying to hide it. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, this bus can't go no faster than it is going right now. Because I'm like, please hurry up and get me to the bus stop so I can get picked up. And she was like, um, she was going to be late picking me up, so go, go ahead and just go to the house. 
So I'm like, oh, oh my. I'm, now I gotta wait. You done gave me bad news and I gotta wait? Oh no. That's not gonna work for me. So I get to the bus stop, you know, walk down to the house. I go in there, I tell my um, I told my dad what happened. I was like, okay, like, duh. We ain't got nothing. <laughs> It's all of you smoke. We ain't got nothing. And he's like, what? Like, what you mean? You ain't got no, like, everything caught on fire. Like, what? I said, I don't know. This, this, this is as much information as I got. So I'm like, okay, I need you to stop what you're doing right now. Like, take me home. I need you to take me home right now. I need to get to my house so I can find out what's going on. He's like, okay, cool. We, you know, we'll go up. Uh, I'm going to drop you off over there so we can see what's going on. So, pause. So, Prior to the fire happening, my folks was um, going through a little custody battle. So I think I was like 16 at the time or something like this. So I had, you know, I was a minor. So the court told them I had to split my time with the two of them. So this particular day was my time I had to go spend with him. So he, I got dropped off over there at the house. And I was staying the night with him. And she was over there at the apartment by herself. Now, the way my mama is, she do her own little thing when she by herself. She's either gonna be on the computer, she's gonna be watching TV, and she's gonna be in the bed. She, she, I can always tell what she's gonna be doing. This is all from her perspective about her telling me what happened after the fact. Like, the story that she told me it was so crazy. I'm in bed asleep. And we used to keep the air, she used to keep the air on, so. program to bring you oh my god y'all please forgive him that was um that's my dog i don't know he does that every single time that he he know i'll be on the phone so when he thinks i'm up here talking to somebody he's just gonna do that he doesn't even bark like he sings so you gonna hear him periodically through that video so you know just just forgive him she used to keep the air on so it wasn't, um, it was always cold. So she said it was so hot in our apartment and she wasn't understanding why. So you know what, like, um, she said she kept hearing like this wood chipping. Wood, if you burn wood, then you would know the sound that I'm talking about. It's like that crispy wood chipping sound. So she kept hearing that, like coming from my room and she wasn't understanding why. And she saw like this red, oranges looking look. Cause I used to keep my window, like, keep the blinds open. So she kept seeing this orange looking red light coming from my room. So she got up and went to the living room. She skipped going to my room and went to the living room. And she was just like, you know, it just got brighter. And she didn't know what it was. She went to open the blinds. We had them weird looking blinds. If y'all know what I'm talking about, like the ones that look like planks, but you can turn them. We had those. So it was so hot coming from the other side that it melted them together so when she went to touch it she had got burnt and then she tried to open them with the um so she was turning the, um, the little twisty thing to open the blinds and when she barely got them open she could plain as day see that the whole complex building behind us was like a whole thing from all the way over was engulfed in flames and of course you know naturally what we gonna do we flip out so she freaking out she's running around the apartment she ran to her room and like i don't i have i don't have a traditional mom my mom is not gonna be save yourself like run out the apartment with no clothes on like you know type mama no nah, mine's is i'm grabbing social security cards birth certificates you know important information grabbing the shoes then grabbing the, the keys and going to the car so she got all that went outside and moved her car and then she just ran around stopped beating on everybody's door she was just like fire fire and i'm like i'm looking at her while she telling me the story but of course i'm, I'm tripping because i'm just like oh my god like you had enough time to do all that then she like she ran back upstairs and got her some more clothes and then she ran back downstairs he knocked on one more door this dude that used to live under us she knocked on his door and she was like oh she was trying to get him up and he wouldn't get up so when he finally did get up and go answer the door to see what she wanted 
he was like, you know, what's going on? She said, it's a fire, like the, like the whole complex is on fire. And he's like, what are you talking about? She said, look. So she, he comes out, you know, he, he's screaming. He's like, what the f <laughs> So he ran and he ran back in his apartment and slammed the door. And so he lived next to this fire station. And for some reason, the fire department, that fire department, particular fire department, did not come at all. Like, they, they waited. Like, a whole nother fire department came and was trying to put the flames out. And the fire was, like, so bad. Like, it reached over and grabbed our apartment. And so, like, it set the roof. Okay, mind you now. So, the apartment complex that we had, the, um... They had the buildings like very close to each other. So you had some yard space, but you didn't really have that much yard space. So it wasn't really that much grass for them to cut in the back. But I'm going to post a picture and show you what I'm talking about. But the apartments were very close together. So that, the flames just pretty much just reached over and just grabbed the, the roof of the apartment. For fire. So now our roof is on fire. So it's burning. It's like, I mean, it's burning, burning. And the fire department finally showed up and then they would decide to put the fire out. So I'm trying to understand. They said they was looking for trying to make sure we didn't have any hot spots. They cut a whole hole through her roof, our roof, and her room. I'm like, okay, there was no point in you doing that. Like all y'all had to do was spray the water on top of the roof and put the fire out. But now they was tearing up stuff trying to put the fire out. Now, I'm gonna post some pictures over here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. And probably up here too. But they were acting a whole fool up in our, like they act a whole monkey up in our apartment and ruined all our stuff. Like we didn't really, we kept most of our stuff, but some of the stuff we couldn't even keep because it was just so tough up. Now you go back to me and my dad's house. I'm like, okay, y'all need you to drop me off. He takes me over there the day after. So, I get there and I'm like, okay, I'm just falling to my knees because I'm just like, I can't believe this. Like, where is our stuff? Our stuff is gone. My stuff is gone. Like, I don't have nothing but the clothes on my back and my backpack. And so we we tried to attempt to go in there, but we couldn't because they had um, the apartment complex had boarded up the apartments to make sure you know nobody would go go back in there because of the smoke damage and stuff like that. But they were, uh, people were breaking in other people's apartments and carrying on like they were looting people's apartments, like walking off of people's stuff. So we had all that going on. So we had this one man that used to stay across the street from us. And we used, me and I used to watch him from some time to time. Like you just, you know how you randomly go to the window and you see somebody, but you don't pay no mind to it, but you, you know, you've seen them before. And he was like, this is her telling me that he was like, um, before I got there. He told her that he could stay, she could stay at his apartment while, you know, we get things situated. Typical her, she was like, nah, you know, I'm good. I'm waiting on my sister to get off work so we can, um, uh, my son can go over there and stay with her because she said we can stay with her. And he was like, cool, you know, that's fine. So he left. Then she said he came back and was like, you know, you sure you good? Like, do you want to, you sure you don't want to go in? And I'm like, okay, you know, you told him no the first time, like, why would he come back and ask you again? So then he came back, he left, and came back a third time. And then she was like, okay, you know what, I'm just go ahead and go in. So she up in this man's apartment, and you know, he talking to her, telling her he finna be gone. You know, he, she can stay here as long as she need to, and why not. And I finally show up. So I'm looking for her, like I'm calling my mama looking for her, trying to figure out where she at. And she was like, oh, I'm across the street in this apartment. I'm like, excuse me? You across the street in what apartment? Like the apartment called, the complex then gave us a new apartment already. I'm like, dang, they work fast. He was like, no, I'm in this, um, I'm in this dude apartment. I'm saying, you in some dude apartment? Like, what you like, man? Uh, uh, what, what's going on? Like, what are you talking about? You in some dude apartment? So, she come out, she step out of the apartment, she waving. I'm like, okay. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, whose apartment is this that you just randomly in? So I go up, I goes in the apartment and I'm like, I'm looking for photos and whatnot. This man ain't got no photos of himself. Like he just, he one of them. No photos, nowhere to be found. And she up in here doing this man large. She's like, she told me I just got nervous and I was, um, I'm so nervous, like I don't know what to do. So she and I mean he, she doing the man laundry. She putting up folding clothes. I'm like, 
when I tell you I don't have a traditional mom, like I have one of those. Like, what are you doing? You don't know this man. You don't know this man from Adam and Eve. Why are you touching this man's drawers? Like, put that stuff down. Put that. Put it down. And sit down. We need to be trying to figure out where we gonna go. And you fall on. But at the end of the day, I was very, very grateful that she was not injured and nobody was hurt. Um, this one man, he did get really severely hurt because he jumped out the um, top story of the apartment. Man, he got really cut up from trying to get out the apartment. Just you can, can you just imagine like coming home like you know you left your house in one piece and then you come back and then like you have nothing and. Even though we did start all over again, but you know, that was just, that was very horrific for me. And the way, they, it's just the way that they act a fool about, you know, going in an apartment. Like they really tore it up. So boom, I forgot to mention this y'all. So we went to the property manager's office along with other, uh, a whole bunch of more people. And we were trying to get compensated for, you know, trying to get us another apartment and things like that and trying to get compensated for the damages and whatnot that we just went through and the property manager was giving us a whole nother story about what was going on we also asked her about what happened and the story that she told us was oh somebody was um cooking on the stove somebody was cooking with grease and they left the grease unattended and a fire broke out on the stove also needless to say that that is not our problem and we didn't have anything to do with that so you should have no problem um trying to satisfy my need or whatever i'm asking you for and i was like okay that's not kind of the story that was told to us like we was told that somebody was cooking drugs like they were straight up cooking meth in the building complex behind us and the little junkie didn't know what they were doing and they were working with like propane tanks and things like that and one of them exploded and like if you can clearly look at that apartment and clearly tell like to me that don't look like no grease fire like we you you can tell a grease fire like from like an explosion like there's no apartment left like come on now now Memphis firefighters are battling a raging two alarm fire at a Raleigh apartment complex. WMC Action News 5's Amy Spiropolis is live on the scene. Amy, what are you seeing? Uh, we can see a very chaotic scene. In fact, it looks like three to four buildings uh, involved in this. Uh, the fight, most of the flames have been put out just within the past few seconds or so, but firefighters are still working from the ground and from the air to put out any hot spots. You can see here behind me, this is, of course, one of the buildings here impacted uh, the Avery apartment complex. We are in the Raleigh LaGrange area right now. We understand that the call was called called in uh, to firefighters about 35 minutes ago. We do believe that all of these buildings uh, were in fact being lived in by the, uh, residents here in this apartment community. In fact, you can see photojournalist uh, Justin Jaggers can uh, zoom around here or pan around here. You can see some of the residents here standing outside. We do understand that everyone inside the building was evacuated and uh, is doing okay. But right now we believe that there were three to four, at least three to four buildings that were impacted uh, by this fire. Right now, firefighters are working to put out any hot spots. We do not know of any injuries, but of course are here speaking with firefighters right now on the scene and we'll keep you posted throughout the morning. We are live this morning, Amy Sparopoulos, WMC Action News 5. And then conveniently enough, like four years later, the same apartment complex caught on fire again. But this time, the whole complex actually burnt down to the ground and I'm gonna, I'm gonna post that in here somewhere but it actually burnt to the ground crispy crisp burnt away like not there anymore and the apartment complex they did not compensate us for any of our stuff they was like okay it's like a what can we do basis like they didn't they didn't care they just really didn't care at all so we we yet again moved again like everything is full of installation and water, everything just soaked, it's just ruined. But we did we uh we did manage to start over and you know get more things that we didn't have before. That's all for the story time today. Thanks for watching guys, peace.